quite often on Logitech G930 wireless uh, headsets. They stop charging for one reason or another. One of the common reasons is that as you push the uh, USB cable in and out or play with it in place, this little USB connector here becomes loose and sometimes pulls off the the um, printed circuit board altogether, which can create the problem. Now it's a fairly simple fix, but it's rather in, rather delicate. You have to have a very fine soldering iron, some half millimeter or smaller solder. It's rather essential that you have uh, a microscope. So easily disassembled. You just remove the remove the five torx screws that hold hold the headset on. Then remove the five screws that hold the the inner piece together, and then pull it apart which leaves you about there. I'll just uh, go in a bit there. Now I pulled it apart a lot, but you really don't need to go any further than that, because that usually displays the, the micro USB port in there, which is soldered in four places two on each side, two at each end, and five little LANs in there that supply the, the data and power connection. Now I'll, um, I'll include a microscopic shot of it, but it's just a matter of pushing it back into place. These four connectors here aren't very critical and they're fairly easily soldered. These little lands here, you'd need some solder wick. Clean any dirty and old solder off there. Just put a little touch of solder on each land. Put it back into place and run the soldering iron along there. Uh, it's something that you really have to have a microscope to do. Yeah. It's very difficult, as you'll see in the, uh, the shot later. Even half mil solder looks enormous under a microscope. Um, and you couldn't really do it effectively with a naked eye. And then put it back together again and uh, it should work after that. Very poor manufacture. Thank you. There are various tutorials on YouTube already on how to desolder with uh, desoldering braid and then resolder surface mount components like these. It's, I won't repeat it here. You're best off looking for yourself. Uh, but it's probably best if the unit has become loose that you totally remove it and clean everything up before you put it back in again. Uh, and then when completed, check each of the five lands and make sure that none of them are short-circuiting because it's on components of such small size it's very easy to get solder bridges between two of the lands. So you should check with the multimeter that there's no actual uh, cross-circuiting between any of the two lands.